It's been a long time, long time. We shouldn't have left you, left you. Without a dope beat, step two, step two, step two, step two, step two, step two. Step two. The dust is being brushed off the old billboards in preparation for another grassroots campaign. This is not about changing the government, it's about electing a new member for Griffith. People here deserve someone who will stand up for them, who will be a strong voice. We've got a very hard working professional advocate. We've got a fantastic working mum and wife to Troy. This is our man, this is the guy. Who do the people of that part of Brisbane want to represent them? It really will be something of a referendum on the first few months of the Abbott government. Stay Is that the biggest frog you've ever seen? It's just not a glamorous contest, really. Where is Tony Abbott? The only person who's been airbrushed over this campaign is Kevin Rudd. <laughs> uh, the Labor Party's trying to leave the Gillard Rudd era behind. It really is time for me to zip. They're angry that their local member, Kevin Rudd, has uh, uh, jumped ship as it were so soon after the election. I'll be a strong voice for this community and I'll be a strong voice against the LNP cuts. This is not to do with state issues. Uh, I have nothing to do with the, with the state government. The only chance of seeing Campbell Newman in the Griffith by-election to be stuck on a traffic jam going somewhere else before February the 8th. Will it change? This ain't a yes. This ain't a no. Just do your thing. We'll see how we go. The ophthalmologist is working overtime to keep the voters he wooed in the September poll and gain an extra 3%. Who would you rather deal with if you had a problem? Who would you rather deal with if there was a local issue? It's been 100 years, nearly 100 years, since the last time a government took a seat off an opposition. I'm expecting Labor's primary vote to shift upwards a couple of points and Labor's after-preference vote to shift upwards a couple of points and give Labor a small win in this by-election. I think this will be the most over-analysed by-election in Australian history.